Hey, what up? I am Bruno Albuz. Welcome to the Real Deal Cooking Channel. Christmas is coming. Today I am so thrilled to make with you the ultimate you log. Bûche au marron glacé. Candied chestnut you log. I'm pretty sure Santa, this is going to be your favorite. <laughs> Candied chestnut marron glacé is a confection originating in southern France and northern Italy, a pure delicacy on its own and an incredible asset for the finest pâtisserie. In the second chapter of this video, I will show you how to make the ideal sponge cake for a log. But for now, let's focus on the filling. The chestnut mousseline. Bring milk and half of the sugar to a boil. Meanwhile, beat yolks, cornstarch and the remaining sugar. Then temper the yolk mixture. Return to the stove, bring the custard to a boil and cook for 2 minutes, whisking constantly, fast and furious. Then remove the custard from the heat. Whisk in the softened gelatin and the cubed butter. Then transfer onto a tray lined with plastic wrap and cover in contact. Next, loosen pâte de marron chestnut paste with cognac or orange juice. Let run the mixer on high speed, then add 20% of the custard first. Beat on high, then add the remaining custard and continue beating until smooth and fluffy. And by the way, just giving you the heads up, for this recipe, you will need two kind of chestnut. The chestnut paste, pâte de marron, and the chestnut cream, crème de marron. Both, as well as the candied chestnuts, can be easily purchased online. Fold whipped cream and spread this marvelous chestnut mousseline evenly onto the Joconde biscuit sheet. Next, drain the candied chestnut pieces and cover the surface. Then grab plastic wrap from the right, roll out and tight the log up with a rectangle device. Place the log in a freezer for a couple of hours to set, then retight it, wrap well and freeze for at least one day. Look at that. So it's hard frozen, which is perfect. So I'm gonna unwrap this. Here it is, la bûche de Noël. So I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator and then I'm going to whip my heavy cream. And then I am going to incorporate my whipped cream with crème de marron, chestnut cream. The cream is sweeter than the paste. The paste has more flavor if you wish, so it's perfect for uh, filling, but the cream it's actually better for toppings. They are both excellent. It is just a different product for different applications. Next, trim off the ends of the log and save them. Coat the frozen log with some of the chestnut chantilly. Place the saved ends on top to resemble knots. As you can see, it's a young tree. Then pipe out the remaining chestnut chantilly to cover the log, going around the knots as well. And finish with your spatula. To make quick chocolate shavings now, run the upper blade of a good chef knife against the surface of a chocolate bar or block, adding up some pressure down as you go. Dress up your bûche de Noël and you're good to go. I hope guys you enjoy this extraordinary you log episode. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Pinterest. And of course, Merry Christmas and see you next time. The Biscuit Joconde is the one that you can roll without breaking it. Biscuit Joconde is the ultimate sponge cake sheet for any Yule log you have in mind. 
Two important things though. First, do not make it too thick. And second, don't over bake it. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make it right. Beat the room temperature egg whites to soft peaks. Then transfer the meringue into a separate bowl and immediately beat the almond flour, sugar, eggs and flour on high speed for 5 minutes or until it turns pale yellow. Then turn the mixer off, fold 30% of the meringue into the almond mixture and fold in remaining meringue and then the melted butter. The fat actually makes the sponge more flexible. At some point though, the batter is going to deflate. But no worries, we are not looking for volume here, but rather something easy to spread and most importantly again, workable after baking. Working with an upside down baking tray though, makes things easier. You have much more control of the overall thickness of the sponge, running your thumb as you go, just like that. Make sure that your oven is turned on at least 10 minutes before finishing the sponge and as soon as the joconde sheet is ready, bake it and bake it at high temperature, I mean 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 230 degrees Celsius for 6 to 7 minutes, then transfer immediately on your work surface, let cool and wrap up. Voila! To get the full recipe, go to brunoskitchen.net and mouse over Bruno's store, you'll find great tools for your kitchen. Merry Christmas and see you next time.